This is VOA News. I'm Marissa Melton. Sudan's army and a paramilitary force battled in Khartoum on Thursday, testing U.S. and African efforts to pause a conflict that has killed hundreds of people in two weeks of fighting and sent tens of thousands fleeing for their lives. During a visit to Washington Thursday, U.N. Secretary General Antonio Guterres thanked the United States for its efforts to help evacuate U.N. and other personnel in Sudan. U.N. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken said they're working closely together. Hopefully uh, working toward uh, a more enduring ceasefire, cessation of hostilities, and helping to put uh, Sudan back on the track that it was on to uh, uh, civilian-led government, while dealing with, I think, an increasingly uh, challenging humanitarian uh, situation there. An existing three-day ceasefire brought about a partial lull in fighting, but it is due to expire. Iran's navy has seized a Marshall, a Marshall Islands flagged oil tanker in the Gulf of Oman amid wider tensions over Tehran's nuclear program. Thursday's seizure represents the latest such capture in a waterway crucial for global energy supplies. The navy's Mideast-based Fifth Fleet identified the vessel as the advantage suite. Former Venezuelan opposition leader Juan Guaido told reporters in Florida Thursday that he left Venezuela because he felt at evident imminent risk. He said this as he spoke to the media in Coral Gables, Florida. Guaido told a news conference he lived for years under permanent persecution, with shots being fired at his home, family and team. He said he will meet U.S. lawmakers and the Biden administration, as well as leaders from allied countries such as Canada, France and Europe next week in Washington to ask for protection and support. This is VOA News. The International Atomic Energy Agency Director General called for worldwide support to prevent any future nuclear accident at Ukraine's Zaporizhia nuclear power plant. BOA's Diane Roberts has more. Rafael Grassi, the International Atomic Energy Agency Director General, told a crowd in Turkey from nuclear power plants only good things should come. He said this is why he's asking for international support when it comes to Europe's largest nuclear power plant. We need everybody's support to make sure that no nuclear accident will emanate from the Saporozhye nuclear power plant. Grassi was speaking at an event in Turkey on Thursday to mark the first delivery of fuel to the Akuyu nuclear power plant. The ceremony was attended remotely by Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan and Russian President Vladimir Putin. Diane Roberts, VOA News. South Korean President Yoon Suk-yeol addressed a joint meeting of the U.S. Congress on Thursday, issuing a warning about the continuing danger posed by North Korea. Details from BOA's chief national correspondent Steve Herman in Washington. During his state visit to Washington, South Korea's President Yoon Suk-yeol called for greater cooperation among his country, Japan, and the United States to respond to North Korea's provocative nuclear weapons and ballistic missile development. My government will respond firmly to provocations, but at the same time, we will keep the door open for dialogue on North Korea's denuclearization. Yun also told U.S. lawmakers awareness must be raised globally about the dire human rights situation in North Korea. Steve Herman, VOA News, Washington. E. Jean Carroll, a writer accusing Donald Trump of raping her in the 1990s, pushed back during a cross-examination on Thursday when asked repeatedly in court why she did not scream during the alleged attack. Carroll replied, he raped me whether I screamed or not. Carroll says Trump raped her in a dressing room at Bergdorf Goodman Department Store more than 20 years ago. Trump has consistently denied Carroll's allegations. He has not attended the trial and is not required to be there. Carol said she felt compelled to go public after rape allegations against Hollywood producer Harvey Weinstein in 2017 prompted many other women to share their accounts of sexual abuse. Russia said Thursday it's denying an upcoming consular visit due to detained U.S. Jur journalist Evan Gershkovich in retaliation for an American refusal to issue visas to several Russian journalists. More on this at our website, voanews.com. From Washington, I'm Marissa Melton, VOA News.
Thank you for watching. Can you do me a favor? Please leave a comment in the comment section below. That would really help. Thank you and see you again soon.